everyone, it's Val of a Huntress and welcome back to my channel. Today's pick a card reading is going to be What does your sexual energy feel like? Um, if you are new here, welcome. I do pick a card readings and other spiritual based video topics. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And if you have subscribed, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. Yeah, come hang out with me on Instagram as well. Um, my handle is at Vale of the Huntress. If you would like to book a personal reading with me as well, all my details are in the description box below. And if you'd like to go in the draw to win a free reading, just drop a comment below and make sure you have subscribed and hit the notification bell. Great, so let's jump into this. Um, so we're going to be asking the question, what does your sexual energy feel like? Um, so I'm going to have four pictures for you to choose from. Um, I also have the four piles here as well. If you, um, if you prefer to pick with the numbers, um, but here are the pictures for those of you who um, like to pick with, um, yeah, to choose a picture. So. Um, we have pile one, two, three, and four. If you need to pause the video, please feel free to do so. Take a couple deep breaths and center and ground yourself. Otherwise, yeah, let's jump into this. I've already pre-shuffled um, some tarot cards. I'm going to be live shuffling some more tarot, uh, tarot, <laughs> some more, some more tarot and oracle cards, um, and I've also got some channeled messages in here. So, and I will put, I will pick some as well if I feel called to. Yeah, we'll see how it flows. So, um, yeah, I'm excited for this one. So let's let's jump into. Uh, Pile number one, what is, uh, what does your sexual energy feel like? Great, so pal number one, what does your sexual energy feel like? So let's tune into your energy. Uh, if you didn't know as well, I do offer personal readings and all that information is in the description box below. Pile number one. I'm getting um, just like picking up from your energy that it's very, your energy is very sultry. It's very playful and mysterious. And I feel like you actually have a lot of admirers. You have a lot of people that are very drawn to your energy. There's something very alluring and it feels very magnetic. I feel like you actually have a lot of people in your energy field as well. They're very attracted to you. Um, a lot of people like to be around you. You're very popular. Um, they may just say they want to be friends, but they're lying. <laughs> um, I feel that, I feel like you're very attractive. You might come across um, like you have a bit of an attitude. Um, I'm kind of getting resting bitch face and people 
I'm also getting at your stubborn <laughs> and people might find you intimidating and they might find it hard to approach you so I feel like once they know they can speak to you they, they kind of feel like um, oh maybe I have a chance even though they they probably don't have a chance <laughs> I probably shouldn't laugh but they can't help it <laughs> okay um they don't actually have a chance um okay let's let's have a look at your cards i'm so mean <laughs> i'm not actually mean i just think it's funny because i can relate okay anyway um so these cards are in chinese so i'm not sure which what this card is but i'm just going to read read intuitively oh it looks really nice with my with my um this cloth here that i have on my table Card here. Okay, we have the Six of Swords here. It's not like focusing. Uh, we have the two of wands. Uh, we have the the four of swords. The Six of Wands, the Eight of Swords, the King of Wands. Oh, and we have the King of Swords. <laughs> so what is your what does your sexual energy feel like? Your sexual energy is very intimidating and I feel that and we have a lot of swords here which tells me that people to me this is indicating that people are very intimidated you like I said you kind of have that presence where you come across even a little bit cold um, but that's because but this is like this is because you don't, but you don't actually let a lot of people in, so we know that. But this is like for other people, they really find it alluring and they kind of really want to get to know you, but they're very intim intimidated by this, um, this sexual energy that comes from you. I feel that in someone that you would choose sexually, they would need to be very matched um, in terms of they, wouldn't, they would have to get it right you are very particular you would not just like get with anyone they would have to know how to um like pleasure you they would have to know even i'm getting like um you are very into intellectual like they would have to like um like sexually um please you like intellectually like you don't like um you don't like you like I'll say you like intellectual conversation and people and this is kind of like the energy and the frequency that you're on and what um, people would have to be a match a match for to kind of like to kind of get with you your sexual energy feels um, I'm almost getting very exciting but very um i'm kind of getting threatening as well so people might be threatened by you um you know either sexes even if they're you know even if people are not attracted to you i mean people can still feel your sexual energy as in the, in the presence so either i'm um, getting both sexes find you very um yeah intimidating and very um yeah threatening as well 
especially when it comes to like business and decisions I'm getting kind of that you use this this sexual energy and that's kind of what it feels like it's almost like I'm just getting a bit of like cold it's and most yeah I'm getting like you I said it was like a bit cold and cut off because you would make people feel like that I feel even if um they've it's kind of like walking on eggshells and if they didn't do something right in the bedroom or not I feel like this is kind of how people feel this is how they feel towards you I'm also getting there's a lot of hot and cold energy with you as well so your sexual energy could be like um, people that they would think that you were very interested in them like you might but then when you're not you would suddenly just pull away and you would like you're not so you kind of have this hot cold thing going on like you can be really not interested really cold cut off but then if you really if you really want something like you'll make sure you that you'll get it and it's um you're very you're very quick paced very fast paced and and getting that and this is like the sexual energy that you have your sexual energy feels like people don't like yeah people don't know what to do with it they feel almost um i'm getting this whole thing like your sexual energy feels like people are cut off people are cut off from the world people are there's something that you do that you just like cut people I'm just kidding you just cut people to shreds so um this is what it feels like to them they almost don't know your sexual energy is like they don't know where they stand they can't really read you and they feel very not in control because you are the one that is in control and when you want something you get it if you want a person you would get you would get it but um, n people feel like they're not in control they feel almost powerless um, your sexual energy is almost also feels that you yeah, you kind of um, have this thing where people, you really affect people mentally, you can get into their head and they also, I feel that they could, they may try to forget about you, but it's like when they go to sleep in the dream time in this kind of ethereal, ethereal realm, it's very, like, it's just kind of haunts them, it's very prominent in their energy where they try to forget about you, but they can't forget about you. And even if like you not you're not interested, it's just this thing that keeps like pulling them back. It's very, yeah, very intriguing. Um, so let's pick some cards here. Okay, we have very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes that it comes to you now. And then we have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So I'm definitely getting that, like I was saying, people are you're very magnetic, people are very drawn to you, they want to be around you. Um, and I just have this whole thing that you're very hard to tie down and it would take, like I said, the right person, the right match energetically, like the frequency has to be right. People think that they're in with the chance, but they might think they are because of your hot cold, because sometimes you're interested. But then I feel like you'd move on very quickly and you just wouldn't then be interested and they would think that um, they would have a chance. Okay, we have people and noticing you. We also have that you will have the courage to move on, but I feel like this is more about, um, I think this is more to like other people. <laughs> I shouldn't keep laughing. But it's kind of like other people that you will have the courage to move on because you've kind of like cut them out and that's how they feel. Because I feel like you just cut people off really quickly, as I've said. Um, now I understand people. I feel that um, this is more about like you and you know when you really want something, like I said, and you kind of like have this thing that um, you would like, yeah, get what you want really easily. I keep things private, that's so you, you're very selective with the energy um, and the people that you choose to be with um, and what else do we have here, we do have that you're a healer and we do see that you see events of the future, so 
and that whole thing when I was getting that I think you're very hot and cold and closed off because you are like we have here it's very like people people find it hard to read you like this saying seeing events of the future precognition I feel like this is like you but this this thing here too around people don't know how to read you they they don't know what's going to happen they don't know if they have a future with you they think they do but I feel that you're very you're very kind of like closed off because you are a healer and you are very particular with who that who you spend your energy with is what I'm getting. There's this whole thing that you cloak yourself and keep yourself very protected. This card is almost like kind of like the high priestess vibes um, is what I'm getting. Great, and um yeah, if you that's all I have for group number one. I hope you found that interesting. Um if you did, please give this video a thumbs up, it really helps my content. And if you'd like to book a reading with me as well, all my details are in the description box. Uh, yeah, drop a comment below. I'd really appreciate it if you'd like to go on the draw to win the free reading. Let me know how this resonated with you. Yeah, I'm always like interested to hear what you have to say. And thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya. Okay, pal two, welcome to your reading. Um, so we're going to be asking the question, um, what does your sexual energy feel like? So let's tune in and see what I'm picking up. I'm getting a very grounded, very, um, very stable, you're very comfortable in your sex, sexual energy. You know what you want. Um, there's a whole thing here with that. You have a very good understanding of your masculine and feminine sides. Well, this is kind of like what you like to work on. There's almost like a very good balance. Like I'm seeing um, like the pyramid or like a triangle um, pyramid. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, there could be something here with like some past lives. Um, you are very connected to your sacred sexuality. This is something that is very sacred. Hmm. Um, yeah, let's have a look at have a look at your cards. We have the Ten of Cups. Um, this is in Chinese, so I'm just going to read it intuitively. We have the uh, the four of wands here. We have the seven seven of pentacles, seven of coins. Oh, we have the Two of Cups. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Chariot. And we have the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, like I was saying, I feel like that your sexual energy feels, it feels like home to people. It feels comfortable. It feels like, it's just getting like stable. It feels like, um, almost like, safe people would feel safe around this they feel that um i'm almost getting like you have like a healing nurturing quality so your energy comes across and that it's very um yeah like healing healing to the soul and that they people really like to be around you I feel like a lot of people fall in love with you because there's this thing where they just feel like, I mean, you have the, the four of wands, the two of cups, the ten of cups. People are so, like, your sexual energy feels like, like they've won the jackpot. It feels like...
and just getting the safety and that they feel really drawn to you but I'm also getting that you could have had a lot of people that are codependent that are drawn to you as well because you have this thing where you're very nurturing and healing that um, a lot of people just want to stay around you and kind of like be in this energy I also feel that a lot of people um, even maybe in the past or like now um, people in your workplace I feel um, even if you don't know I feel like people really just um, have like crushes on you or want to be with you um, they see like a future with you your sexual energy feels like you might come across maybe like sweet innocent or something where sensible but I feel there's like more to you but you don't really show this side to people People just like want to um, kind of like look at you and admire you. They feel like um, you're kind of like their muse. They like to, um, yeah, they just want to either like impress you. Your sexual energy feels like, I feel like you can, you can um, conceal a lot of this. I feel like you're maybe not very open with it. I think there's either, like, if I go deeper into looking into this, I feel there's, like, maybe a bit of something, but you're you're very good at hiding it. Um, yeah, I'm getting, like, these here, like, this kind of, like, this yin and yang, but I feel like you do have, like, a bit of darkness, do you? You can maybe come across that you're very, um, like I said, you are put together, you're sensible, but I feel like this is kind of what you put out. But there's also, I don't know, I'm feeling like maybe the sexual energy, there's something here that could be suppressed a bit where you feel like you can't really, you want to explore this side more, but maybe there's something here I'm feeling that needs to be kind of like um, unlocked. There's so much more here to be revealed. This is more of a, I'm getting the sexual energy of like, love contentment safety secure you know secure but almost like um but this may be more important to you but i feel that there's something here that could be explored deeper um something that could be looked at um even more because i feel like this your sexual energy feels yeah like i said um very safe and even like people might feel very codependent towards you um Maybe when you get to know people, you let the sexual energy um, out more. But I feel you there's either a suppression here um, where you don't express it or you feel there's something wrong and you don't really want to express it. There, yeah, I feel that there could be something here and you just don't. Um, that needs to be, I mean, if you wanted to, I feel that there is something here that's kind of been... Um, I oh, know, I feel like you're kind of even running away from something, running away from something that you don't want to feel, something that you don't want to look at. This could have been something that's happened in the past. Maybe you kind of let the sexual energy um, out of it and you went to explore a bit and you went to, you know, kind of like unleash it and not have it um, safe and secure because I feel like you like to have things always safe, secure, um, but I feel like something, there's something here in the past that maybe it happened and I feel like you have like to be more in control and I feel like this is the energy you also put out it's very um, kept back even from yourself very kept back I feel like this is things from your past because you've had to have a lot of strength I feel there's a lot of healing still with this group that's coming up okay what does your sexual energy feel like yeah we are forgiving and learning I do feel there's something, as you release the past, you experience more love in your present moment. I do feel there is something here from the past that is um, kind of with the sexual energy that is needing to be, yeah, like I said, looked at and explored and healed. And I feel this is something that's happened in a past relationship and something that happened to you. And then we have you, you deserve love. So it's kind of like people see you as this wish fulfillment. They want to have this love with you. Your sexual That's what your sexual energy feels like. Like I said, it feels safe. But there is a side to you that is kind of, um, that you have either let out and unleashed before and something happened where either you got hurt or um, it wasn't, 
it was with the wrong person, it was taken in the wrong, you know, like when we have these sexual experiences sometimes they, people don't understand or we just, you know, with different partners or it, it um, there's so many factors but I feel like something was unleashed and that was kind of like what you wanting to, you felt uncomfortable or it has brought up something and you're really wanting to open this up more um, but a lot of you have just kind of suppressed it and this is like from the past of like what has happened I mean, we have, and then we have religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual past so you might feel like this is kind of wrong um, and you all might be still coming to terms with um, acceptance, acceptance of your sexuality because therefore, once you open that and explore and accept it more than you're able to, then it will only flow out because I guess I'm reading what what it feels like and it's kind of like the safe, safety, whereas there's so much more depth to you where you've unleashed it before, but then you've kind of like then reined it back in because you felt like you weren't in control and this is because of something that's happened to you in the past. Great, and that's all I have for um, pile number two. Um, I hope you found this reading interesting. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. I also do free, um, I also offer readings if you're interested as well. You can find all my details below if you'd like to get um, more in depth with your own personal situation. And yeah, drop a comment below. Let me know how it resonated. I really love hearing from you. And you'll also go on the draw to win the free reading if you comment. Um, and I will see you in the next one. See ya. How pile three and welcome to your reading. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at your cards and we're going to be asking the question, what sexual, what does your sexual energy feel like? We have the Nine of Pentacles again, very independent. <laughs> uh, we have the Ten of Swords, King of Wands, the Tower, the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Emperor, and the Knight of Swords. Your sexual energy feels like, like I said, you come, I mean, you got the Nine of Pentacles here twice. You come across as someone that is very self-assured, very confident, and you almost like it would take, it would take such a person to win you over. I feel that you, your sexual energy comes across, um, especially through your business, your career, um, there's almost a sense that um, people are very, like they like to look at you, they like to um, learn from you. Um, I feel like maybe if you have social media or something, they like to look at your pictures. They like, but it's almost like you also have a very, um, it's like you're very intelligent. You have a very quick mind and this comes across too. It's kind of like your your sexual energy feels like you're very, yeah, like you're very sexy, but you're also very, very smart is what I'm getting. Um, your sexual energy feels very exciting. It's very exciting to people, but also like I feel that people will get very nervous around you. Um, slightly intimidated, but they know that you're friendly but there's something about you that is almost like um, they feel, I don't know, maybe like they're not, they're not good enough is what I'm getting. I feel like your sexual energy feels like um, even a bit intense. I mean, we've got like the tower here. I feel like you're, if you let someone in, it's kind of like 
they feel the sexual energy, they know you're independent, they don't think they're good enough and it's like when they get in, in when they um, have a chance or when they have connected with you or you know whatever like physically, it's like it's very very intense like you transform the shit out of people. It's almost like they don't even know what they're in for. Your sexual energy is like destructive. <laughs> it's like this is what it feels like but then it's like when you actually physically connect with someone or you have had you know um, it's totally transformation transformational and that you literally their life will fall apart it's like you again like the other groups getting a real healing quality but your healing quality comes comes in through this heavy heavy transformational and like endings like um destruction lightning powerful intense um once they connect with you so that's kind of like if they thought this was intimidating it's like wait till they actually um wait to, wait till they actually um like have sex with you or like connect with you it's just um mind-blowing and yeah, with everything, I feel like their life would fall apart, their like mind would fall apart, and and that's because you bring this healing quality because you people don't. It's kind of like you've come in with this healing quality, and people don't really realize the things. I don't know. It's like they don't realize the things that um, need healing in their life, and it's kind of like not that you've destroyed their life. It was like you were the catalyst because. Um, this is what is needed for some of these people to um, realize that I'm saying I'm and I'm being really blunt but um, their life is a lie is what I'm hearing so I feel like your sexual energy feels like I mean like like once like this this person with like all these swords in them yeah all these swords in their back maybe they feel like I feel like they don't understand you and that when things go go wrong or when things like fall apart I feel like the sexual energy is like they feel like you've stabbed them in the back but it's kind of like they didn't actually know you is what I'm getting you're very independent you're very strong very courageous and this is and this is because I feel like it's, um, I'm hearing that it's taken you a while to get to this point and you're very okay in your sexuality, you're very okay with who you are and it's kind of, um, people almost feel like maybe you're like appearing like a con conquest, is that what it's called? But then it's like if you do then have um, like sex with these people, if whoever, it's kind of like, um, they don't understand the depth of it and kind of what you're bringing because I am getting a lot of things around like I see the healing qualities very psychic very um destructive in the fact that you bring a lot of endings like I said to people endings and beginnings um you your sexual energy feels like people almost feel like um there's a couple things People almost feel like, I don't know if I said inadequate, I don't know if I did say that people feel like they're not good enough, I can't remember, but there's kind of this thing where they feel like they're not good enough, inadequate, or anyone from either sex will look at you and feel um, like they're not good enough, even if they're not really not attracted to you like that, like sexually, the sexual energy you give off is kind of they see, yeah, they see the lack because they, they have this within them but they, they feel like they're not good enough or they don't have it. That's because they just haven't accessed it and this is kind of what you bring to them. Um, it's kind of a mirror because you're actually there to show them that they do have this quality and that's like I said, this destructive of the ending and beginnings is kind of like because this is like the lack of what they don't have in their, yeah, what they don't have in their life and it's kind of like you bring this, bring this up to them as a mirror and this is... Um, what they feel from you so it's very transformational very powerful um and i feel like a lot of people can't really handle this and they walk away from from it so whether this is in sexual partners or even just friendships or people that are around you i feel that um people 
I feel like, like I said, you're very independent. So I feel like your sexual energy is very, um, almost like I feel like maybe you don't, ha you don't have that many people around you. Bef and I think this is for that reason. You're always looking to what's next, what's new. It would take someone very um, particular for you to stick around. Because once you cut them out, is that's it. It's like gone. Um, your sexual energy feels like, yeah, like I said, I'm getting like a leader. You use this in your business, in your work, um, even in your conversations, how you come across. Very authoritative, very, um, like I said, you're very intelligent. And there's a lot of things here around spirituality and, uh, and around, like I said, healing. That you are a healer and these are qualities um, yeah, that you possess and that you bring for other people. Your sexual energy is very, I'm going to say like you have a lot of um, like chemistry, but people find it very confusing because they don't know how to read you. So they find the energy very conflicting. Um, they don't really know that they know there's something about you that's very, um, they're drawn to, but they can't really quite put their finger on it and I feel like they want to know more because your sexual energy is very enticing um it's very I'm also getting very cutthroat um as well as soon as you leave or if you've left someone or if you've had um even if you have slept with them as soon as you leave and you don't want to be with that person they would feel very cut off from your energy I'm getting as well very um yeah, because it comes in really fast, really quick, and they and then they just want more. And as soon as you leave, it's almost like they kind of left um, feeling the lack. There's a lot of things about your sexual energy makes people feel the lack um, in themselves. But like I said, this is they don't have the lack. They just haven't accessed this part of them, and they kind of like have this thing. Like I said, so you might not have many friends. Um, you might get people that are quite jealous of you as well um, but this is yeah, this is just be, this is why very sexy um, your sexual energy also I'm getting your touch as well your sexual energy is like very sensual very feminine and very um, even just you just like touching someone um, you know even not in a sexual way but just your touch is something that has a very healing a very healing and a very sensual kind of like um, energy is what I'm getting so yeah this comes so you might even if you do something hands-on in your work or um, or even just when you hug someone you kind of like um, emanate like this energy I'm getting okay what does your sexual energy look like and fall out. Let your friends help you. I was so with that card. With that card I'm getting more that like I said, you're more independent and that I feel like um, and it's like ask for and accept support from others. I feel like you don't really do that because of things that have happened in the past. People are intimidated, especially friends. Some friends you might have that are close and they do really um, see the sexual energy and appreciate it about you, but I feel like um, this will be more until you really accept it yourself and you don't really care what they think. That's kind of when you'll find those friends that really gel with you like that. Um, and then we have retreat. So I feel like your sexual energy feels like when people are, are with you or around in your presence, it's almost like a severe healing and they're just drawn. They feel like they're, you make them feel better. They feel like when they're with you, their problems seem to, even if they don't know you very well, their problems seem to kind of like fade away. Because I said you have a very, like you're like a priestess. You have this very, because um, even though you, your sexual energy is kind of very seductive, 
like I said, people don't really know. This goes, this goes deeper than that. You're very like high priestess healer. This is very transformational. Um, like you're healing people, you're changing people's lives and I mean not or just like having sex but even just in your presence and in your the way you're using this energy to heal people is what I'm hearing. I feel like you're, because you're so misunderstood as well with the sexual energy that maybe you do attract the attention where it's kind of like um, people take you take advantage of you and they have in the past that's why you have this like whole strength to you because they just feel they just want to be around you and they feel you and um yeah I mean and we have the last card so your sexual energy feels like people like I just want to, I just want to ride you but like people yeah they just either want to like I see conquer you that's kind of what I'm getting um this whole thing where it's like that's what they feel and then it's like even if you did decide to be with them that's when they don't understand the depth and the deep deep knowledge that you actually hold and this is some ancient shit and then yeah I mean she's down deep and within the earth like the feminine the goddess this is like some deep ancestral goddess shit that um you're working with and you probably do work with the priestess um like goddesses the whole yeah i just i can just see and they don't understand they don't understand Great, and that's all I have for um, group number three. Um, I hope you found that reading interesting. If you did, please give my video a thumbs up. It really helps my content. Um, if you'd like to go more in depth with, in depth, um, with this type of reading, I do offer temptress, seductress reading, which is all about the sexual priestesses and messages that I channel from them, if, um, which covers kind of like these topics. So yeah, check that out in the description box below. And let me know how you resonated with this com um, with this video, uh, with this reading, and you go on the draw to win the free reading as well. Yeah, thanks so much for letting me read for you, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya. Great, and pile number four, welcome to your reading. So we're going to be asking the question, uh, what does your sexual energy feel like? So let's have a look at your cards. Nice, we have the two of cups. Oh, we have the nine of swords. Another tower. I <laughs> wonder the other parts had that <clears throat> as well. Uh, we have the Ace of Coins. And we have the Four, four of Pentacles. Five of Swords. Two of coins and hanged man, ten of pentacles, five of cups, page of cups, oh yeah, hangman twice. Six of Pentacles. What does your sexual energy feel like? I feel like you're very selective with who you let feel the sexual energy. I feel that you know, um, I feel like 
when you when you're in your everyday work or in your everyday life you don't actually um, give this off you're very protective with it and you keep it very particular with who you let um, feel this energy you're very yeah you've, you've closed it off and you only show it when you feel safe this is because um, I feel like either in the past you would have um, I feel like maybe you experimented or you let kind of like there was something here that you you felt or you experienced and I feel like maybe something quite something like sudden happened or something shook you a bit in this in this I'm hearing exper experiment or this um, experience <laughs> experience or experiment um, that you were in say so that you know I like this could have been some sexual encounter with someone or something even as like you wore something and someone you know you wore something sexy or you kind of just let this um, this energy flow out and something happened to you um, where it kind of um, made you want to keep be more particular and keep this energy to yourself I feel I feel it could have been either um, because maybe in the past I am getting for some people that there was like a relationship or something where yeah like you were like really in love with someone so maybe it was with this person and you felt more in balance or you felt you could be more yourself so maybe you're just in the energy now that you know you could have just gone through a breakup or something has happened and now you're just feeling like you like to really keep this energy to yourself so you don't really like emanate this energy out and this frequency out into the world is what I'm getting. You have a, um, yeah, you're kind of very particular and you're waiting. You're sexual, so that's interesting because, I mean, because I can see your, your, what your sexual energy feels like. And I mean, there's this real seductive quality, but you only show this when you're in love with someone. I mean, like we have here, you only show this when you're comfortable with someone and when you're like in love, you would only show this to certain people. And I feel like maybe you're going through a phase in your life where it hasn't, it's not something you're, have, you're exploring or um, yeah, because I'm getting that something has happened to you and you're kind of just maybe, I'm just getting like maybe you're in a routine or something and you're, I feel like my heart is closed off and that I'm just not really wanting to give this energy out into the world because I'm not really ready yet. And I feel like, again, there's some type of like heartbreak or something that has happened to you in the past. So... I mean, I know as well as was the energy uh, reading about your energy, but what I'm getting is like I can see how you know you're um, you're exciting, you're playful, but I can you know in your what that's what your sexual energy feels like. But you only show it to certain people, and I feel like um, you're in this energy now that you're not wanting to really explore. Well, you maybe you are, but you're waiting. You're kind of like waiting. I'm hangman twice here you're waiting for the right person so that you can kind of yeah so you can explore this again and i feel like your sexual energy is more around you're wanting more like of a stable relationship with someone before you would show this and you would need to feel safe um so i feel like you're waiting for um the right person you're waiting for um you're wanting more like a family life you're wanting stability you're wanting to be like okay like financially but it's just a random side note um but yeah i know this is it's kind of going on a tangent here but i mean i can't really control the readings this is what spirit is telling me that you kind of have this thing here that um you're waiting bit you're kind of like in an energy where you're waiting for something new to happen and you're wanting to really get over this heartbreak, heartbreak 
and this kind of loss that you're feeling from this love that you've had. Um, and it's kind of like yeah, you're just feeling maybe like a yeah, like a bit closed off with your sexual energy is what I'm feeling. Okay, we have forgiving and learning. We have finances and career here too. And you deserve love. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So I feel like I said there's something that's happened in the past and you're kind of really focused. I feel like your energy isn't really on this. Um, and then you've got like finances, career, you deserve love. But I, but I know you've clicked on this video, so I will, let's like look into, yeah, I mean, have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. I feel too with this like sexual energy I mean just because you're not emanating it out into the world is totally fine but you can also be using the sexual energy for yourself because this is what is going to make you more attractive I mean then we have calling in your soulmate so things where you're using this energy to make you know for your own power for your own gratification for your own pleasure so it doesn't have to be um, out into the world so even I feel like maybe in your sexual energy that you're used to sharing it with like a love partner but it's coming through that um, in this healing time and for you you could be doing something um, using the sexual energy um, for yourself because you're not really feeling like giving it out to anyone until you meet someone um, but you could be using this in a way that's just very you know very like sensual for yourself you know things like bubble baths and like you know rubbing like oil like a perfumed oil on yourself that's just very nurturing and sensual on yourself and that's all about um you know like she's smelling the roses things that are nurturing and sensual for yourself will help to bring and attract more of this energy where you're trying to call in your soulmate i can see so yeah, it doesn't have to be shared out to the world because I can see you're feeling quite private about things. Um, but it's saying here that your sexual energy feels like when you're with someone, I mean, you're very sexy and magnetic, and but you enjoy it more when you're in a loving relationship and that's when you show it. You don't show it to, like, the world, but it's just, like, your sexual energy, yeah, like, you have a very dark, mysterious side to you. You're very... Um, you're very, I'm seeing like your partner would think you were so amazingly sexy and I feel like you would also like to dress up, random side note. Um, I feel like your sexual energy is just that would be like a totally different character to who you show to the world and that you would, um, yeah, I'm just getting playful, seductive and you like to, um, yeah, it's like you would keep your partner on their toes and you would make sure they're very, they feel very um, pleased, pleased by you. <laughs> like you please them. Um, and I feel that you, you feel this is, you feel this is very important in a relationship. So therefore I'm just getting that this energy is more about you and how, like what it would feel like to a partner. Cause I, like I said, you don't share it with other people is what I'm getting. Um, you know that it's very important and you're very private with this. Um, but you would even, I feel like people would get glimpses of it but they wouldn't know a lot about it because you keep it very to yourself. You're very mindful of who you share the sexual like energy, but what it does feel like to your partner is very, um, like they never get bored with you. They're very, ex you're very excitable and that's kind of what it feels like. It's playful, but very playful but very like you know what you're doing and you could be very subtle in the way that um these this energy comes across to your partner i'm getting where it would be things like even if your hair was done really nicely or you kind of like have this dress on where it's kind of like um you would just see like your back or something even that would be very kind of like giving off this like sexual energy 
to your partner only I'm getting. Like people would look at you and think, oh, you know, they would admire you, but I feel like they wouldn't get this vibe off you because, again, you're very particular. You only show this off to a partner is what I'm getting. Great, and that's all I have for group number four. Um, I hope you found this reading interesting. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my content. And if you'd like to go in the draw to win the free reading, please drop a comment below. Um, yeah, I do offer for, um, readings as well. If you would like to get, um, yeah, I do offer a seductress um, reading, which is all about your sexuality and messages from sexual priestesses. If this is something you want to dive deeper into with things that we've discussed here, more on like a personal, personal level. Um, yeah, so that's all below. And yeah, thank you so much for letting me read for you. Um, yeah, I thought if I said drop a comment below because I have a free, um, the free reading to go on the draw to win that. Um, yeah. Great, and I will see you in the next one. Uh, thanks for uh, watching. <laughs> see ya.